We have a sound travel problem, and sound travels at 750 miles per hour. And if we stand in a canyon and sound a horn, you'll hear an echo, and it takes 0.5 seconds to hear the echo. So it says, how far away is the canyon wall in feet? So first of all, we have a big unit issue. We start with miles per hour, and then our second units are seconds and feet. So let's go ahead and turn 750 miles per hour into feet per second. And how we do that, in the denominator here I have miles, and I want to get into feet. So what you do is you look up how many feet in one mile. It is 5,280 feet in one mile. So this fraction right here is equal to one because the distance of 5,280 feet is exactly the same as one mile. So you're dividing one distance by another distance and they're the same distance. So they cancel out to one. Same thing when we go from seconds to hours. So you should know there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. So 60 times 60 is this number right here, 3,600. And that's how many seconds in one hour. So that will again equal one right there. So now what this lets us do is cancel the hours because we have multiply by hours, divide by hours. We also do the same thing with miles. We have divide by mile, multiply by mile. So those cancel out. And now we're left with 750. We still have some fractions to deal with. 5280 feet per 3600 seconds. So let's go ahead and use a calculator, which I'm using off screen. So I'm going to do 5280 divided by 3600. And that gives me 1.46 now there's a lot of sixes after this. The question is how many to keep. Most of these questions want about five decimal places of accuracy. So that's six right there. I'll round this, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I got five accuracy and I rounded the sixth decimal place. And now I'm gonna multiply this by 750. If you're using a calculator, you actually can keep a lot more decimals very easily. And on this next step, Oh, and I left the units off. That's feet per second. And the next, we get 1,100 feet per second. All right, this is the speed of sound. Okay, my time was 0 0.5 seconds. So we want to distance for one half second. So I could write down t equals, I like to use decimals, especially when I'm using calculators. So I'm gonna go with a 0 0.5 seconds. There's the distance equals rate times time, d equals rt. Sometimes you're gonna write a little x in for multiplication. I personally don't like to do that could use a dot, that's a little bit more uh, common. So we're gonna say the distance is the rate. What's the rate? The rate is the speed, which is right there on the top of the screen. One, one, zero, zero. I am including the units on purpose. That's the rate. What's the time? Also near the top of the screen, 0.5 seconds. So right away I can see the units are gonna cancel right here. So we got multiply by seconds, divide by seconds. And now what's 1100 times one half or 0.5? That'll be half of that. And the only units remaining are feet. All right, so you might now be confused of why this is twice the correct, correct answer if you just went ahead and typed it in. So I'm gonna draw a canyon right there. You're gonna stand over here blow the horn, the sound's gonna go over there. Well, you don't hear the sound when it hits the other side. You hear the sound when it comes back to your side. 
So it actually has to travel twice as far as the actual width of the canyon. So this distance you see on the screen, this is the total distance traveled. And you want half of that distance. So the canyon width is going to be distance over 2, which is 550. All right, part B on this question is similar. The only difference is you leave T as, well, they, they say to use N, but whatever letter you use, or is it in terms of N, instead of this number, you just put the letter N right there and then simplify it. So that's the only difference in part B. Just remember your sound's traveling twice as far as the actual width.